So we're starting off today's episode a little bit differently because I, I just feel like talking about this But I just honestly had like the best cookies I've ever eaten in like in my life And I have to readjust this thing as well because there's my like my beautiful microphone over here um, If I have this cover it, it kind of takes away the purpose of this pop filler So yeah, I forgot to do it in front of the recording But um, these are the like, uh, okay so here's the thing my dad just went to the supermarket to get some groceries and stuff. And I was like, I, I felt the need for having some munchies. I'm a munchy type of guy. I like having something crunchy to eat. Uh, because, I don't know, it's just like a, a habit maybe. I, I don't know if you guys have the same thing. But, I had these cookies. Uh, he's like, here, half them. I have no idea where he got them from. Maybe from the neighbors or something. These are the best cookies ever. I'm not endorsed or anything to say that. But, man, if you ever get your hands on these, Sunday Grandino cookies... It's white chocolate with cranberries. This is amazing. Funny thing is, I noticed that I have a habit. Um, usually, you, you get it out of the package just like this. And I'm the type of person who gets it out of the package. And then the moment the, the packaging is done and the cookies are gone, I put it back in and then I just, like, destroy it or something like that. I don't know why I do that. It's just so happened that I do it. Anyway, hello everyone. It is Alpha Boys, so welcome back to another episode of Boom Beach. In this video, we're going to be taking down Terror. I asked you guys a question of the video last time on the Dr. Terror video. Here are some of the responses in the screen right now. Decided to go with the Havizuka, I thought that was interesting. Not smoky, just regular. So yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing. And I am gonna be boosting up my gumboat energy for this one, but that's about it. We'll just have to see how this is gonna be going with boosting that one up, because usually I just don't boost, it's just that I don't have many diamonds left. So I, I feel I should boost it, at least that one. Okay, one more. Troop damage, there you go, boost that one up as well, we should be having a good run, it is Volcano Dr. Terra, we got some diamonds over here, 3, and he lost a village, okay, let's, uh, let's get this party started, I'm excited, um, I, I'm also still working on the uh, replay video, had a couple of good responses on that video, which made me very happy, was happy with that, um, yesterday on live stream, I don't know if you guys want to see it, but I took down Dr. Terra stage 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 with only critters. Like, seriously, only critters. It's insane. If you want to see that, make sure to let me know. I'll make a Twitch highlight to show you that video in particular. I'm just really curious to know uh, what is that. Question of this video is going to be, what is the first troop combination you use in order to take down Dr. Terror? Make sure you share it with us in the comment section down below. Really curious to know uh, if it was like tanks and medics or, or the warrior attack strategy. Maybe you have Izuka, maybe something else. Um, yeah, just let me know in the comments below. And uh, you have a chance of getting your comment featured in the next episode. Should be pretty cool, right? Okay, that being said, let's focus on the situation at hand here. This is Terror Stage number 2. I uh, let everything go to the right side a little bit there, but we should be good regardless. Gonna be taking down this stage, getting more critters in here. Everything will just end up dying before my heavy Zookas can even reach the headquarters. There we go, one more artillery. And okay, the heavies did reach. Artillery pops in and it is gone. There we go, two shards. Not too bad. I like it. And um, if, if I'm done with that Dr. Terror today, I'll have enough crystals to make another masterpiece, which equals more power stones, uh, which equals more power powder. That makes me always very, very happy. Okay, I'm going to try to take this one down with critters only. So I'm going to drop some critters at the back here. Um, and shocking the, uh, the mortar over there. I think I can just take that mortar out with uh, two artilleries here. And yeah, they're, they're good to go. Look at those critters. Look at those critters going ham. They already did half of the damage that they needed to do to take it down. Uh, so yeah, I didn't even need to drop anything. Let's see and scout first on stage. Well, as, let's actually do stage four and see if we can take out some of the surrounding buildings. I just lost Suzuka. Um, to see if we're able to do this one with only critters. Now that's going to be interesting, right? So this one... 
it's impossible. Like, you have a rocket launcher there, two of them. Yeah, two of them. You got three machine guns, two flamethrowers. Uh, there's no way for me to do it that way, so that kind of sucks. Alright, then instead have Izuka take down here, dropping everything we can. Dropping a shock bomb there on the flamethrower because flamethrower is going to be hurting. Dropping some uh, critters on the uh, on the shock launcher. Shock launcher is going to go down. Very nice takedown over here. Redirecting everybody to the right side here. Some of the Zookas actually did get hurt. But uh, we should be fine. Look at these healing over here. I actually tested recently how it is like to have 5 or 7 medkits on a heavy that is heavily damaged. And I was surprised by the uh, regeneration speed that they showed. It was really, really cool. Very, very cool, actually. I think I'll do a separate video on that. Like, how fast can something heal up? Like, have a tanks and medics or something like that. And then gather up a whole bunch of gumbo energy. And then try to take down the base. And then drop a lot of medkits. Like, maybe like 8 or 9 if I have enough gumbo energy. And then see how much health and how fast it's going to be healing up the tanks. Like, the fastest healing ever. I think that would be a cool idea. Anyway... We arrived at stage number 5, and for this one I actually want to be taking care of these boom cannons. I'm going to be attacking the right side, let me just drop everything here right now. I can just leave them go on their own, just mind their own business there, while I take care, while I take care of these uh, cannons over here. One artillery takes them both out, okay. Is there anything else? I don't think we're going to be reaching this boom cannon, but just to be sure, I will take it out. And there we go. I think the biggest concern are those rocket launches that we're, that we're facing soon. So I'm just going to drop like some critters here and there to, uh, to counter that. And um, oh there's a rocket launch here at the bottom hitting my Zookas there. So uh, let's just redirect everything to the top here. And look at those critters going hand. They're actually taking out of every single mortar as well. That's pretty cool to see. I like it. I like it a lot. And I think if I have enough gumbo energy, I'll drop some more critters. But then at the sniper tower over here at the top. Getting some energy to get that going. There we go. I think I just should ignore everything at the bottom and just go to uh, just go to the headquarters. All the way and then go for the takedown here. And this is going to be good. We almost made it. This is going to be a takedown for sure. Now stage number 6 and stage number 7... Are gonna be the tricky ones out there, obviously. We'll just have to see how this one's gonna be going. I'm curious to know whether or not I can take down stage number 7 with Hafizuka. Because I think I've only done it on, uh, on like one instance where I actually did it. But I don't remember how long that was ago. I think that was before the uh, before the change on, uh, on, uh, on Dr. Terror. Which already is like half a year ago since we have that cycle... Of Colonel Gearhart and Hammerman Strikes Back. That's almost been half a year ago now. Or is it? I'm not sure. It's at least a couple of months now that we have those events. I mean, it's interesting to think about it. But yeah. Alright, so... um, Let me see. I'm not sure as to how I'm going to be addressing this situation we got ongoing right now. I'm thinking I should take out, like, some rocket launchers at least. Because those are going to be a pain to deal with. And I'll, I'll just attack the right side. No issue there whatsoever. And then maybe take out, like, a cannon. The, the boom cannons aren't at high level, so my heavies can definitely sustain some damage there. But yeah. And also, I don't know if you guys know, but I maxed out my Zookas. Uh, did it on stream mainly like I, I the, the, the biggest things happen on stream like the live stuff happens on stream and because of that I, I tend to forget sometimes and for that I do apologize to mention the fact that I maxed out something So maybe I should pay attention to that a little bit more I'm not sure I really love streaming stream is so much fun You should definitely join if you've never been there definitely come around at least once say hi See what see what we're up to we have a really and I mean, really, I wouldn't say if it weren't true, we have a really dope community ongoing. We got a, such an amazing community ongoing with such really great people that always are there during streams. 
very excited, uh, very energetic about everything that we're doing during those streams. It's just really, really great to be at. So, um, yeah, definitely join in. Like, if you have a bored day or something like that, or just re-watch the stream. Uh, re-watch what we're doing. My Mizuka's kind of dying at the top there. Gotta be careful here. Dropping a shock bomb at those... Uh, Rocket launches there. My Zookas didn't entirely die, of which I'm happy, but uh, we gotta be careful still. We, we still gotta be pretty careful here that we don't lose what we don't have to lose. Alright, here we go. The Madkit did its work because we didn't lose any Zooka so far. The Boom Cannon also doing the work. We lost two heavies, of which they can rest in peace. And I think I'll be good to go if I drop three artilleries right here. One, two. Oh, one, two was enough. I didn't know that. Well, this was stage six, so I kind of overestimated this one. But, you know, you can better overestimate than underestimate. Because underestimating usually brings you in trouble. And in this case, uh, it's fine. We can afford to do so. All right. Uh, I'm looking to, uh, to shock the shock launcher in some way. Actually, let me just drop some critters in front of here to distract the shock launcher, hopefully. At least to the point where we can... Oh, there we go. We're actually going to be taking it down. There we go. Taking down stage number 6 with Heavy Zuka. Everything's still boosted up, of course. But uh, it's a takedown. A takedown is a takedown regardless. And uh, we're going to be getting ourselves our first crystal of the episode. I already got a prototype module a little bit earlier, which I'm pretty happy about. But now we're also going to be getting a crystal. And then we need one more crystal to get a masterpiece rolling. So... Uh, Happy about that. I haven't been having any increasing, like, better masterpieces as of lately. So I'm hoping for a Power Stone chance that is better than my own. I'm really, really hoping for that. We'll just have to see about this. Okay, we have arrived at stage number 7 of this Dr. Terror takedown. And um, there's not a whole lot of heavy firepower at the left side, from what I can see. I mean, I see a, a regular cannon over here. I see a, a boom cannon over there, which I probably can take out with like a barrage or something like that. And then you mainly have just rocket launches and shock launches, which are going to be annoying to deal with. But that's, that's pretty much about it. So I am going to, uh, to try to take this one down for sure. But first, let me go ahead and take care of the uh, boom cannon. And let me take care of, uh, do some damage, like some collateral damage onto the rocket launchers. Hopefully also doing, uh, taking those out halfway, maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Seems we cannot do that. Um, dropping one barrage there at the other rocket launcher. Doing some damage on that as well. Hopefully taking out the boom cannon at the same time, which it does. Very nice stuff. Dropping on artillery there. There we go. Uh, one more artillery won't take care of that, uh cannon over there so we're just going to move on to the next thing and that is this um the shock launcher next to these rocket launchers so one barrage over there and i'm curious to know how much damage it is going to be doing exactly okay so took it down about halfway now if we do it again will it take it down and also maybe a rocket launcher that would be pretty great i think we will take it down not the rocket launcher, but if if we drop one more artillery, we will definitely take it out. So here we go. Also, the machine gun will be gone. And then there's two rocket launchers left. Those are pretty annoying, as a matter of fact. And I think I maybe want to be spending the energy to drop a, uh, a barrage over there. Hopefully doing a lot of damage onto the rocket launcher. Alright, I think one artillery will take that out. But I want to be saving us this, this gunboat energy. Because I'm probably going to have to get started with shocking over here at the center. Because otherwise we're going to be losing way too many heavies very, very early on. And that's something that I, that's honestly you really don't want. So got to be careful here. Got to be directing everybody to, uh, to the left side here. Because some of my Zookas are kind of dying there. Alright, dropping the artillery right now. Because the rocket launches are firing away. They are gone. And then we are going to be going to the left side here. Uh, stop concerning yourself with the uh, with the flamethrower, please. Dropping some critters to uh, get rid of those mines and also distracting everything that we uh, that we can. And then we're just going to let the the heavies roam free, sort of. Going to the left side here right now. Come on, I need some gunboat energy to survive this. 
I really need some gunboat energy here right now. Which we do get. And this is gonna be this is gonna be interesting. We still have quite a few Zookas left though. We have still quite a few Zookas left. There is a shock launcher there though. So this is going to be a pretty close call. It really depends on how fast we can take care of that rocket launcher. I'll just drop an artillery onto the rocket launcher. There it goes down. Alright. So moving to the left side here. And the heavies. I think uh, this is gonna be close. This is gonna be really, really close. I don't think we can take this one down because uh, there's no more heavies left. And then there's on only Zookas. There we go. We only took it down about a 40%. So that was my Dr. Terror takedown with the FV Zooka. Uh, I'm gonna finish this one off with the Warrior Attack strategy, of course, because Warriors against the Dr. Terror uh, should be an easy cleanup here. So, charging up everything real quick. And we should have enough diamonds only just to. Uh, to get these bad boys here. There we go. And uh, considering that we got the boost. I don't expect to have a lot of trouble. Taking this one down. But first things first. I do I gotta be getting rid of some of these mines over here. I think I'll just drop one artillery. To get rid of uh, the, the five mines that we're seeing over here. Then this mine over there will not be touched. But that is okay. And then drop a barrage around here. Getting all of those mines in the center there. And then go for the takedown. Should be very, very easy. Alright. Artillery is dropped. Barrage is dropped as well. And then we are getting ready for this ultimate takedown. Now, the question is, how are we going to be walking? I think I found the path. That's going to be the machine gun over here. And um, the way I do this is I'll just drop everything here. Dropping uh, two smokes. Second one was a little bit late, but that's okay. And then just going straight to uh, do the sniper tower. Where's my flare? There we go. Alright. There we go. We did get quite a bit of damage there, but we should be good to go. We can make it up there without losing more units. And then we gotta be shocking the most important buildings here. Those include shock launchers, flamethrowers, machine guns, and I think we got everything. I mean, this machine gun is shooting, but it's not gonna be doing much. This is definitely going to be a takedown. Um, or is it? This should be a takedown. Yeah, there we go. Boom. There it goes down. Kind of a close one. There were uh, a couple of... There were like three sections that I needed to shock there because otherwise my units would be getting shocked and then would be getting uh, fried as well so pretty happy with the stake down terror stage number seven goes down and there's the second crystal and that means that I'm able to make myself another masterpiece so I'm just going to cancel this one out and gonna get started on making this uh, oh I should have not done that because uh, I was making a uh, a crystal for for a good reason that uh yeah Anyway, that is the takedown of this Dr. Tower. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. A little bit later today, you guys will be getting another episode. That is going to be the uh, the compilation. And sorry, I'm, I'm uh, rubbing my eye here, but it's kind of itchy. Um, that's going to be the compilation of Task Force Attacks. I already showed you a preview, which will be linked in the video description down below. Uh, the most perfect Smoky Hookah attack. Um, Zuka, Smoky Zuka attack. So I hope you guys uh, will check that out if you haven't already. That being said, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, make sure if you guys like this video to boom, give it a thumbs up. And that being said, this has been Reverse for Boom Beach. I'm going to be signing off and I'll see you guys in the next one.